I was freaking the fuck out yes, doing this. Um, so we're finally using the Genki um, Shadow Cast, which allows us to play Switch and PS4 and a bunch of other things. We're on... also oh my god, my pen. We're also using my camera so you can see how much of a fucking dumbass I am. I'm forcing Carter to play Ace Attorney because I fucking love Ace Attorney. I've only ever played one Ace Attorney game, though. I've never played Ace Attorney. still Destiny. Let's turn the microphone towards us. That might help. All right. Uh, there's an update. <laughs> nice. So, so... I I don't know if I'm going to be doing this, if we're going to be doing this kind of setup for every single Let's Play coming mm. up. But you, you definitely wanted to do more of face cam yeah. stuff. So. Because um, I'm very. I use my arms a lot when I talk. Why well, was three houses. I don't know. Whatever. Oh, Let's just start. Yeah. yeah. So remember, this is three different games. Okay then. So we're just going to play the first game. Okay. For now, I have um, a notes file. Yes. Of, like a piece of paper. Piece of as paper. As you can see. That. Get some amazing. ASMR on this. Watch my ASMR video. All right. I'm gonna write notes for Carter because he doesn't know what the fuck's going on. I'm also gonna doodle, and maybe we can upload my photos. New game. We're gonna play. Oh, geez. Okay, we're gonna yeah, play just Ace one. Attorney. Ace Attorney. The <laughs> first turnabout. So again, I've never played an Ace Attorney game before in my life, so I'm gonna be really bad at this. Oh my God, there's blood. Yep. Gasp. Gasp. <laughs> You're not supposed to say gasp, but <gasps> oh, someone got murdered. Well, that's a lot of. Damn blood. it! Why me? Is that the woman saying that? Can't get caught. Not like this. No, it's the murderer. Oh. Wait, they're gonna show us the murderer? Gotta find someone to pin this on. Someone like him. Oh. What? Someone like who? I'll make it look like. He's not, he did it. He's not answering. He's not answering me. Oh god. And I'm not I'm not progressing this forward. Mm -hmm. The game is doing this on its own. August 3rd, 1947. <laughs> 1947. Shut up. <laughs> 947. Carter, what year morning. is it? Doesn't say. It does not say what year it is. Yeah. District Court Defendant Lobby number two. It's always number two, by the way. Always number two? Yep. Boy, am I nervous. Should I do Phoenix? Do, do your best Sam Regal impression. Hey, I can't. I, <laughs> I fail immediately. Boy, am I nervous. My name is Donatello. <laughs> Maya? Mia? Mia. Right! <sighs> oh, hi, hiya, Chief. Whew. I'm glad I made it on time. Well, I have to say, Phoenix, I'm impressed. Not everyone takes on a murder trial right off the bat like this. It says a lot about you, and your client as well. Um, thanks. <laughs> He's like a step away from being like, okay, just step off, please. <laughs> Actually, it's because I owe him a favor. A favor? Ooh. You mean, you knew the defendant before the case? This is a trope in Phoenix, right? He almost always knows who he's defending. Okay. It's almost always his friends and family. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> Actually, I kind of owe my current job to him. He's one of the reasons I became an attorney. Well, that's news to me. I want to help him out any way I can. I just really want to help him. I owe him that much. I'm not going to explain what it is right now to the audience, but it's over. My life, everything, it's all over. She's like, uh, I'm gonna go. Is that your client screaming over there? <laughs> Saying like, don't, just be calm, be calm. Just, just not, let's just not look at him. Yeah, it's him. D oh, wow. Death, despair, oh. Yeah, he's kind of melodramatic. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna die. Yeah, he's a little, uh. Mm. Sounds like he wants to die. Well, no shit. I wonder, he I wonder. He just kind of said it. Yeah, I wonder what, what clued that off. Um, yeah. <sighs> Nick. Nick. Butts. I think that's his name. Butts. Butts. Hey. Hey there, Larry. No one can names their kid that anymore. <laughs> what is Larry short for? Larrington. 
Laryngitis. Laryngitis. <laughs> Dude, I'm so guilty. Tell them I'm guilty. Give me the death sentence. I ain't afraid to die. Why is this guy... What the fuck? Why is this guy wanting to die? I don't understand. What? What's wrong, Larry? Oh, it's all over. I... I'm finished. Finished. And why has he got the starry eyes while he's crying? I don't really understand. I can't live in a world without her. I can't. Who... Who took her away from me, Nick? Is he going Phoenix Nick? Maybe? Who did this? Aw, oh, Nick, you gotta tell me who took my baby away. I'm so fucking confused. Hmm, the person responsible for your girlfriend's death? The newspapers say it was you. Ooh. Ooh. My name is Phoenix Wright. Here's the story about a little girl. <laughs> oh, here's the story. <laughs> Never mind. In a blue world. My first case is a fairly simple one. Stop that. Uh, <laughs> a fairly Stop. simple one. A young woman was killed in her apartment. The guy they arrested was the unlucky sap dating her. The unlucky sap that did this game so much. Larry Butts, my best friend since grade school. Butts is a bad na last name. Who would? Who would? Why wouldn't? People who have that last name just want to change it. Why wouldn't they want to change it? Why don't you want to change your last name? Key? Yeah. Because it's your last name. But it's like, their last name. But Butts is so, like... What if they find pride in their name? It makes him the butt of many jokes, probably. Our school had a saying. Look, I drew Larry Booty Hole. I still drew him. Oh, oh, what did I just say? When something smells, it's usually the butts. In the 23 years I've known him, it's usually been true. Phoenix is a lawyer at 23? 23 years he's known him, so he may have met him when he was okay. younger? How is Phoenix less than 30 and a lawyer? Yeah, keep progressing, keep progressing, <laughs> he I'm has gonna a, write notes. He has a knack for getting himself in trouble. One thing I can say, though, it's usually not his fault. He just has terrible luck. Ah, unlike me. But I know better than anyone that he's a good guy at heart, even though he smells. At that end, I owe him one, which is why I took the case, to clear his name. Good guy, Phoenix. And that's just what I'm gonna do. August 3rd, 10 a.m., District Court, courtroom number two. Yeah, there's a lot of just... Oh. Gavel. Oh, the judge is such a fucking idiot. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Larry Butts. I don't know what this voice is. Do you want pain? The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. <laughs> the, um, defense is ready, Your Honor. <clears throat> Mr. Bright, this is your first trial, is it not? Yes, Your Honor. Um, I'm, um, a little nervous. Your conduct during this trial will decide your fate, fate of your client. Murder is a serious charge for you. Uh, uh, excuse me, Judge, What? Are, are you okay? Do you need, like, some water or something? Why would you give a new lawyer a fucking murder case, even if you're doing it for a friend, like... Yeah, this seems like a little something that, like, he's probably out of his element for. Yeah. Thank, thank you, Your Honor. Oh, he looks pissed. <laughs> Mr. Wright, given the circumstances, I think we should have a test to ass ascertain your readiness. Alright, this is... this is the tutorial. Okay, Don't yes. Don't fuck this up. Yes, your honor. Gulp. Hand shaking. Eyesight. Fading. Knees shaking. Arm spaghetti. <laughs> Knees... <laughs> the right. test will consist of... Assist of a few simple questions. Answer them clearly and concisely. Please state the name of the defendant. His name is Larry Butts, right? Yes. <laughs> you had to look. <laughs> the defendant? Well, that's Larry Butts, Your Honor. Hmm, correct. Just keep your wits about you and you'll do fine. Next question. This is a murder trial. Tell me, what's the victim's name? Phew, I know this one. Glad I read the case report cover to cover so many times. It's... wait, uh-oh. 
No, no way. I forgot. I'm drawing a total blank here. He's a great fucking lawyer, isn't he? I don't want to fucking read it. I can't do all the voices. Are you absolutely sure you're up to this? <laughs> you seem a lot less perky than you did before. <laughs> the only thing perky here are my tits. Now press the A button. <laughs> Oh, the victim. Uh, of course I know the victim's name. I, um, just forgot. Temporarily. I think I feel a migraine coming on. <sighs> you know what else I forgot to do? I forgot to start the timer. Good fucking job. <laughs> so, look. The victim's name is listed in the court record. Just press the R button to check it at any time, okay? Remember to check it often. Uh, do it for me, please. I'm begging you. Well, I'll do it right now. Uh, Cindy. Um... Can I read this, or...? Uh, I don't think you can right now. Time of death, uh, July 31st, 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Cause of death, loss of blood due to blunt trauma. Hey, um, smoke weed every day. <laughs> uh, attorney's badge. Okay. Uh, so we got Maya Faye. She's the chief attorney. I think attorney. it's Mia. Mia. Uh, Mia Faye, age 27. Chief attorney at Faye and Company. My boss and a very good defense attorney. Oh. 23? Okay, Phoenix Wright is 23. Yeah. Defendant in this case. A likable guy who has been my friend since grade school. Cindy Stone is the name of the victim. The victim in this case, a model. She lived in an apartment by herself, and Winston Payne, the prosecutor for this case, lacks presence. Generally bad at getting his points across. Alright. Well, now that I know what her name is... Mm -hmm. Mr. Wright, who is the victim in this case? The real victim is this Nintendo Switch. Cindy Stone. <laughs> um, the victim's name is Cindy Stone. <sighs> Correct. Now tell me, what was the cause of death? She died because she was... hit with a blunt object. She was struck once by a blunt object. <sighs> Correct. You've answered all- is, is this what I'm gonna look like when I get older? And my, my beard starts to gray? Okay, so, fun fact about uh, redheads, you're gonna go, like, kind of pink for a little. Yeah. And then you're gonna go white. Okay. You don't really gray. Alright, alright. That's to be, you know, that's... That's fair. That makes sense. Yeah. You've answered all my questions. I see no reason why we shouldn't proceed. You seem much more relaxed, Mr. Wright. Good for you. Thank you. I smoked a blunt. <laughs> because I don't feel relaxed, that's for sure. Well then... First, a question for the prosecution, Mr. Payne? Yes, Your Honor. As Mr. Wright just told us, the victim was struck with a blunt object. Would you explain to the court just what that object was? The murder weapon was this statue full of marijuana. Smoke weed every day. <laughs> he was thinking pretty hard about where that marijuana was. Mm -hmm. Alright, it was found lying on the floor next to the victim. Hmm, I see. The court accepts it into evidence. Alright, so the statue in the shape of the thinker. It's rather heavy. Uh, okay, so just knowing Phoenix Wright games, there's probably something hidden in that statue. Am I allowed to check it? That's the most you can do right now. Okay, right. Be sure to pay attention to any evidence added during the trial. That evidence is the only ammunition you have in court. Use the R button to check the court record frequently. Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its first witness. The prosecution calls the defendant, Mr. Booneyhole, to the stand. It's Mr. Butts! <laughs> um, Chief, what do I do now? Pay attention, you don't want to miss any information that might help your client's case. You'll get your chance to respond to the prosecution later, so be ready. Let's just hope he doesn't say anything... unfortunate. Uh-oh, Larry gets excited easily. This could be bad. Larry's got a boner. Oh. Ahem. Mr. Butts, is it not true that the victim had recently dumped you? Hey, watch it, buddy. We were gr Oh my god. Alright, this guy's just fucking himself up immediately. Yeah. We were great together. We were Romeo and Juliet, Cleopatra, and Mark Anthony. Romeo and Juliet did not end well. They both <laughs> fucking killed each other. They killed themselves, um, my bad. Didn't they all die? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't dumped. She just wasn't taking my phone calls or seeing me. Ever. Is Larry Butts a... Uh, uh, is, is he an incel? See, I have a feeling he may have had sex at one point, which would make him not an incel. Okay. But I think he's just a massive fucking idiot. 
What's it to you, anyway? Stop shouting in the courtroom. Mr. Butts, what you describe is generally what we mean by dumps. Oh, shit. Shit, that's a burn. Is that, did that go into the case records? Hold on, let me see. All right. Let me, let me, let me add <laughs> it to my notes. Mr. Butts was dumped. Underline, underline, underline. <laughs> in fact, she had completely abandoned you and was seeing other men. She had just returned from overseas with one of them the day before the murder. What do you mean, one of them? Lies. All of it lies. I don't believe a word of it. Your Honor, the victim's passport. Oh, that's not added yet. Okay. No. According to this, she was in Paris until the day before she died. Alright, the passport. The victim apparently arrived home from Paris on uh, the 30th, the day before the murder. Indeed, she appears to have returned the day before the murder. Uh, okay, so what we can know about this is that uh, whoever killed her had to know when she was returning. Okay. So it obviously isn't isn't asshole man. It obviously isn't butts? No, because she wasn't returning his calls. He mm. had no contact with her. True. Okay. okay. All right. That's good to know. Fun fact, I took law in my last two years of high school, and I had to take law classes in college. Oh, shit. Yeah. All right. I've done a few mock trials, like... <laughs> That aren't in Phoenix, right? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, no way. The victim was a model, but did not have a large income. Income means breasts. <laughs> it appears that she had several sugar daddies, as he says in quotations. Oh, I wish I did too. <laughs> daddies? Sh sugar? Oh, he doesn't know what that means. Listen. He looks a little concerned. L l listen, your ex? Me some good ass fucking dough. That's all I'm gonna say. Yes, older men who, who gave her money and gifts. In exchange for what though? Oh, that's the thing. Mm -hmm. She took their money and used it to support her lifestyle. Dude, we can clearly see what kind of woman this Miss Stone was. Tell me, Mr. Butts, what do you think of her now? Why is that in red? So, uh, fuck. I forget what it's, what the actual like legal term is. But he's he's leading Larry on. Mm. He's trying to make Larry say something that'll like frame him for being the murderer. Oh. Yeah. Right. I don't think you want him to answer that. Yeah, Larry has a way of running his mouth in all the wrong directions. Okay, but if if it required you to say objection in the original game, like for the DS, what would you do now? Okay, so. The one I played, Dual Destinies, was for the 3DS. Okay. That one you could actually shout into because there was a microphone. Okay. I think the original one was for, like, Game Boy Advance or something like that? I totally forget. But, anyways, there is going to be an objection button. Okay. Yeah. Should I stop him from answering? Stop him right? from answering. My client had no idea the victim was seeing other men. That question is irrelevant to this case. Oof. Oof. Wince. Oof. Dude, Nick. What do you mean irrelevant? Why does he keep calling Phoenix Nick? Is that his first name? And then he just goes by his middle name? No, I feel like his name is Phoenix. <laughs> that... Nick's. Nick's. Oh, yeah. okay. That cheating she-dog. Oh my god, butts. Oh. oh, you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of the fucking, uh, what's called Rick and Morty animatic. <laughs> oh my god, oh yeah. yeah. I know I don't have to let- Do you know anything? I'm- This guy suck my f Let, 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 let me- To get let, some let legal representation. I love that, yeah. I'm gonna die, I'm just gonna drop dead. Oh my god. So that one of these cases, um, your witness is a bird. Huh? What was that? One of, in one of the cases, the witness is a bird. <laughs> it's a murder case, I'm pretty sure. I, th oh I think Phoenix gosh. only does murder cases. My gosh. <laughs> Alright, let's continue with the trial. I believe the accused motive is clear to everyone. Yes, quite. Oh boy, this is so not looking good. This is so not Raven. <laughs> Next question. You went to the victim's apartment on the day of the murder, did you not? Gulp. Well, did you or did you not? Huh? <laughs> well, maybe I did and maybe I did. Oh my fucking god, Butts, you, you were the worst! Hate this guy already? Oh my god. Carter, 
Carter. I love Phoenix Wright, but it gets worse. This guy does not know how to shut his fucking Listen, mouth. Everyone in the in this this series is a dumbass. Oh boy. You're gonna learn that uh -oh. so quickly. He went. What do I do? Should that's actually an honest thing. Right? What? That, have him answer honestly. Have him answer it honestly, right? I feel like that's the right thing to do. Okay. Morally speaking, it's the right thing to do. I'll send him a signal. Tell the truth. <laughs> Tell the truth. Er, yeah, yeah, I was there. I went. Order. Well, Mr. Butts, dude, chill. She wasn't home, man, so, like, I didn't see her. What? Your Honor, the defendant is lying. Lying? That objection actually sounded like Vicky Guerrero. Yeah, it did. Yeah. The prosecution would like to call a witness who can prove Mr. Butts is lying. Mm. Hold on a second. Why do you keep opening the thing? Because now I'm paranoid. Okay, so when, when it gives me, when it tells me that I can that I have to check it often, that I check it often. Okay, so when a new piece of evidence is presented, then it'll go into your case file. Uh, when a new witness is presented, then it'll go in your case file. You don't have to keep pressing the button. Well, that simplifies matters. Who is your witness? The man who found the victim's body. Just before making the gruesome discovery. He saw the defendant fleeing the scene of the crime. Oh. Order. Order in the court. Okay, so who's the real murderer? Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its witness. Yes, Your Honor. Oh, this is bad. On the day of the murder, my witness was selling newspapers at the victim's building. Please bring Mr. Frank Sawit. Sawit? Oh my god. Sawit? Mm-hmm. Frank Sawit. Carter, it gets worse. To the stand. Right, let's bring Frank Sawit of oh, this fucker. All right, Mr. Sawit, you sell newspaper subscriptions. Is this correct? I actually want to check. Is he in here now? Yeah. Frank Sawit, 36. Let's go over Mr. Stone's body. Newspaper salesman who saw Larry flee the scene. Okay, you sell newspaper subscriptions. Is this correct? Oh, oh yes, newspapers. Yes, <laughs> Mr. Sawit, you may proceed with your testimony. Please tell the court what you saw on the day of the murder. All right, witnesses count. Okay, so with the testimony, so th you have to look for inconsistencies in the testimony. Okay, so f what we know is that she came back a day before she was murdered. She mm -hmm. came back on the 30th. She was murdered on the 31st from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m., right? Yes. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be around that sort of... Okay, and remember, she had sugar daddies. Sugar daddy. This man may potentially be a sugar daddy. Okay. Yes. All right. I was going door to door selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing an apartment. Okay. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Thinking it's strange, I looked inside the apartment. Then I saw her lying there, a woman not moving, dead. Okay. I quailed in fright and found myself unable to go inside. I thought to call the police immediately. Did he? However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. Huh. Uh, okay, so the phone wasn't working, uh, but said that he called her all the time. Okay. Okay. So yeah, but said that he called all the time. I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. I remember the time exactly. It was 1 p.m. Alright. Okay, we got time this motherfucker. Inconsistency. Yeah, we got this motherfucker. Let me just make sure I got the... 4 yeah. p.m. to 5 p.m. is the mm -hmm. time of death. Um, yeah, yeah. Alright. The man who ran was, without a doubt, the defendant sitting right over there. We're gonna slam this motherfucker. Hmm. Larry, why didn't you tell the truth? I can't defend you against a testimony like that. 
Incidentally, why wasn't the phone in the victim's apartment working? Your Honor, at the time of the murder, there was a blackout in the building. Hmm. Mm. Aren't phones supposed to work during a blackout? Is that true? I don't know. Yes, Your Honor. However, some cordless phones do not function normally. The phone that Mr. Sawitz used was one of those. However, it was plugged in. So shouldn't it have worked regardless? The phone that Mr. Sawitz used was one of those. One of It was a cordless phone, he said. Yeah. A cordless phone wouldn't have worked. But in this image, it's plugged in. Mm -hmm. Continue. Your Honor, I have a record of the blackout per your perusal. Electricity in Miss Stone's building was out from noon to 6 p.m. on the day of the crime. Okay. Now, Mr. Okay, hold on a second. So she gets back the day before. Uh, autopsy says that her time of death was 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. He's saying that he called, that he found her body at 1 p.m. Mm -hmm. And the building was out from noon to 6. Okay. Now, Mr. Wright. Yes. Er, yes, Your Honor. You may begin your cross-examination. Cross-examination, Your Honor. Such a bad fucking lawyer, isn't he? All right, right. This is it. The real deal. Uh, what exactly am I supposed to do? Why, you exposed the lies in the testimony the witness just gave. Lies? What? He was lying? <laughs> Your client is innocent, right? Then that witness must have lied in his testimony. Or is your client really guilty? How do I prove he's not? You hold the key. It's in the evidence. Compare the witness's testimony to the evidence at hand. There's bound to be a contradiction in there. First, find contradictions between the court record and the witness's testimony. Then, once you've found the contradicting evidence, present it and rub it in the witness's face. So let's bring up the time first. Alright, yeah, so the, the yeah. timing, the 1 p.m. Yeah. thing? Yeah. Okay, open the court record with R button and then point out contradictions in the testimony. Alright. Alright, here we go. I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. I remember the time exactly, it was 1 p.m. There we go. Uh, press? I press him for this? Um, evidence. Pre present? Present. Uh, yep, time of death. I'm gonna say hold it instead. 1 p.m. Are you certain? Yes, absolutely. Hmm, he seems really confident. 1 p.m.? Right, doesn't that seem strange to you? Present some evidence to contradict him. Okay. Present the evidence. But how? What's the button? I don't know, it should. Is it not A? I pressed X. You found the body at 1 p.m. You're sure? Yes, it was 1 p.m. for certain. Frankly, I find that hard to believe. Your statement directly contradicts the autopsy report. The autopsy notes the time of death at some time after 4 p.m. There was nobody to, er, no body to find at 1 p.m. Hey. How do you explain this three-hour gap? Oh, he's sweating. He's sweating hard. Oh, that. Oh, er. Oh, what? This is trivial. The witness merely forgot the time. Oh, he's starting to sweat too. Payne seriously sounds like Vicky Guerrero. Yeah, he does. After his testimony, I find that hard to believe. Mr. Sawit, why were you so certain that you found the body at 1 p.m.? I, er. Well, I... Gee, that's a really good question. <laughs> Great job, right? Way to put him in the spot. That's all you have to do. Point out contradictions. Lies always beget more lies. See through one, and their whole story falls apart. Alright, okay. Wait, I remember now. Hold on a second, let me... Okay, so we got that already. 7.30... Building was out from noon to six. Okay. Um, actually, I should probably check the model. She lives in an apartment by herself. Okay. Would you care to give your testimony again? Okay. 
The time of discovery. You, you see, see? When I found the body, I heard the time. Coming from the television, there was a blackout. Mmm. Mm. But it was three hours off? Mmm. Hmm. Yeah, really? Yeah. If the... The power's out. You heard a voice saying the time on a taped program, Mr. Wright. You may cross-examine the witness. All right. You know what to do. All right, yeah. We, we've we got this one. This voice saying the time was probably coming from the television. Should I say it here? Yeah, try it here. Are you sure it was a television and not a radio? Well, no. I guess it might have been a radio. There was no radio on the premises. There was only one large television. Right. Hearing the television. Okay, now present the evidence. Go back. Go back one. Now present the evidence. Alright. Uh, it is yeah, this, one. right? <sighs> Hold it right there. The prosecution has said there was a blackout at the time of the discovery. Aha! And this record proves it. You gotta, you gotta smack the paper. You wanna smack the paper? That was my hand. Sorry. Good job. Oh, he's he's gonna be sweating even harder. Mm -hmm. You couldn't have heard a television or a video. Whoa, I saw his, his fucking toupee fly off yeah. for a second. Oh, a lot of characters were toupees in this. I know there's, like, breakdowns, um, but yeah, I mm -hmm. haven't played the game. I, well, uh, the defense has a point. Do you have an explanation for this, Mr. Sawit? No, I, I find it quite puzzling myself. <laughs> quite, uh, I should have been using a pain ladder. Ah, no, wait, wait. <laughs> I remember now. Mr. Sawit? The court would prefer to hear an accurate testimony from the very beginning. Oh my god, Carter. Yeah? Next time we play this, can we, like, play it in suits? Oh my god. <laughs> I only have, like, I think I have two suits. You have, yeah, you have two suits. I think I do, yeah. These constant corrections are harming your credibility. Do you know how to tie a tie? Not really. <laughs> I used to know how to tie a tie. I haven't done it in, like, ten years. Yeah. <laughs> I, used to wear a I used to wear a tie every day in high school. Well, that and you seem rather distraught. Oh, my apologies, Your Honor. It, er, it must have been the shock of finding the body. Very well, Mr. Solich. Let's hear your testimony once more, please. Hold on. All right, so he's probably going to mention something about... It's got to be the fact that, like, she lived alone in an apartment. They're going to bring something up that has to do with that, right? Possibly. Okay. Um, all right. This is only the fucking tutorial, and I'm already getting nervous that I'm gonna miss something. You've got me here. Excuse me. Actually, I didn't hear the time. I saw it. There was a table clock in the apartment. It wasn't there. Yeah, the murder weapon. The killer used it to hit the victim. Hmm. That must have been what I saw. The table clock was a murder weapon? You saw a clock, and guess that would explain it. The defense may cross-examine the witness. Gladly. So yeah, he said that... Alright, hold on a second. The murder weapon. Yeah, he's calling that the murder weapon. Um, yeah. So... Precedent for that. The murder weapon? Yes, the table clock that was used as a weapon that... Mm-hmm. <sighs> oh, this... Oh, this motherfucker. Yeah. Oh, really? You mean this? Wait just a moment. The murder weapon wasn't a clock. It was this statue. Now, how is this supposed to be a clock? What? You, with your objections and your evidence and your truth, just who do you think you are? Just answer the question, Mr. Sawit. Hey, I... I saw it there, okay? That's a clock. Your Honor, I if I may. Yes, Mr. Payne. As the witness stated, this statue is indeed a clock. 
The neck is a switch. You just tilt it, and it says the time out loud. It doesn't look like a clock. I submitted it as a statue. My apologies. I see. So the murder weapon was the table clock after all? What? Uh... Yeah, yeah, you still have problems with this testimony. Yes. Your Honor, there's a gaping hole in the witness's testimony. The only way he could have known the weapon was a clock is to hold it in his hand. There we go. Yet the witness testified that he never entered the apartment. Oh, he's got him. Clearly a contradiction. Hmm. Indeed. The witness knew it was a clock because he... went into the apartment. You're lying! You were inside the apartment on the day of the murder! <sighs> oh yeah? Prove it. Prove I went in there. <sighs> I'll do better than that. I can prove you're the one who killed her. <sighs> you struck her with the clock, and the shock of the blow triggered the clock's voice. That was the sound you heard! <sighs> oh. Order in the court. Intriguing. Please continue, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Do you feel like a real lawyer? I feel like a guy who's just yelling about lies. Mm. You're lying! Stop it! Objection! Mr. Soft. Hold it! The sound must have left quite an impression on you. Understandable, since the murder weapon spoke just as you hit the victim. That voice was burned into your mind. That's why you were so certain about the time. Oh. What's the meaning of this? This is all baseless conjecture. Baseless? Just look at the witness's face. Would the witness care to elaborate? Did you strike the victim with the clock? That... that day, I... I never... Look, I... the clock, I heard... No, I mean, I saw it soon... Okay, well, this guy is just going crazy. Shut up, shut up, shut up! I hate you! It was him, I tell you, I saw him! He killed her, and he should burn, burn, give him death! Oh, this guy's going... Is there a death penalty in Japan? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. Uh, order! Order in the court, I say. You make a note of that. Your Honor, a moment, please. There isn't a shred of evidence supporting the defense's claims. Mr. Wright. Your Honor, you claim the sound the witness heard came from the clock. Do you have any evidence? Do I have any evidence for this? The clock! The whole case is riding on this. I'd better think it through carefully. Your Honor, the sound Mr. Sawit heard was definitely from this clock. A fact which is clear if you simply... Try sounding the clock. Let's sound the clock now, here in this court. Your Honor, may I have the clock? I ask the court to listen very carefully. I think it's 8.25. That certainly is a strange way to announce the time. Well, he is the thinker, after all. So, we've heard the clock. What are your conclusions, Mr. Wright? Mr. Payne, can you tell me what time it is right now? It's 11.25. That's three hours off. Mm-hmm. Ooh. As you can see, this clock is actually three hours slow. Precisely the discrepancy between what Mr. Sawit heard and the actual time of death. So, Mr. Sawit, try to talk your way out of this one. Oh. Ha! Ha ha! You forgot one thing. Uh-oh. What's he talking about now? While it may seem like that clock is running three hours slow, it proves nothing. How do you know it was running three hours slow on the day of the murder? Do I know that? Do I know it was running three hours slow on the day of the murder? Because he said it? If you can't prove that, you don't have a case. He's right. How am I going to prove that? Damn it. I was so close. Mr. Wright? Seems you lack the critical evidence to support your claim. 
Yes, Your Honor. This means I cannot let you indic indict, indict. indict the witness. Unfortunately, ends the cross-examination of Mr. Frank Solid. <laughs> Come all the way down here to testify and look what happens. You treat me like a criminal. A criminal? Your lawyers are all slime. Ugh, I almost had him. Sorry, Larry, I failed you. There's nothing I can do about it now. Wait, did I fail the case? No, you didn't fail the case. Not so fast, Mr. Solid. <sighs> What's Mia gonna say? Mia? I mean, Chief? Listen up, right? Don't throw this one away. Not like this. Think. But, Chief... Stop thinking, It's over. I can't prove the clock was slow the day of the murder. Nobody can prove that. Um, well, yes. But that doesn't mean you can't still win. Try thinking out of the box. Don't waste time doubting the facts. Assume the clock was three hours slow and think through it. Ask yourself, why was the clock three hours slow? Figure out the reason and you'll have your proof. Right. Right? Right, right. Can, Can you, you think, think of a reason as to why the clock would be three hours slow? Would there be a reason? The blackout? Could be the blackout, could be her preparing for her trip. Because wait, if the blackout happened... Hold on a second. If the blackout happened at noon... Mm-hmm. Blackout happens at noon... Mm, I don't know, can I? Just say yes. Alright. Wait. Maybe I can prove it. You must have evidence somewhere that can prove it right. Find it and let them have it. Well, Mr. Wright, you say the clock was already running slow on the day of the murder. Have you found evidence to support this claim? There is a piece of evidence in the court record that can prove my claim with beyond a doubt. Tough words to see you pull this one off. See this evidence... Oh. I feel like it has something to do with the trip. But I'm not sure. I feel like... Uh, I don't know. So you have, like, this bar. I don't know if you've seen the bar in the top right corner. Yeah. That's, like, how many times you're allowed to get things wrong. <sighs> okay. Did I get something wrong? No, you didn't get anything wrong. I'm just saying that, like, that bar is currently full right now, so you're allowed to get some things wrong right now. <sighs> should I try the blackout record? I think you should try, like, the trip, the passport. But what does that have to... Like, the, the... Maybe she set her clock early so that she would be able to get to the airport early. But, like, as soon as she got home, she would have changed it back. She might have forgotten. I don't know. <sighs> try one and then try the other if it's wrong. I'm gonna try the blackout record first. Um, excuse me. This proves your claim how? What? Ugh, fuck. I think it was the passport. I don't know how it would be just, to- Just try. The victim had just returned home from abroad the day before the murder. As we all know, the time difference between here and Paris is 9 hours. When it's 4 p.m. here, it's 1 a.m. the next day there. The clock wasn't 3 hours slow, it was 9 hours fast. The victim hadn't reset her clock since returning home. That's why the time you heard when you struck her dead in her apartment was wrong. Proof enough for you, Mr. Sawit? Or should I say, Mr. Dit? No. Oh. Hey. It's a lot of really bad jokes in this. Yeah. Um. Order! Did he have a seizure? I think he just had a seizure. Order and order, I say. Well. That was a fucking disaster. This case has certainly turned out differently than we all expected. Mr. Payne, your witness? He... He, uh, he was arrested and has been taken away, your honor. Hmm. Oh, this fucking guy. 
Very well. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. I have to say, I'm impressed. I don't think I've ever seen someone complete a defense so quickly and find the true culprit at the same time. Thank you, Your Honor. At this point, this is only a formality, but this court finds the defendant, Mr. Larry Butts, not guilty. Hey! We passed the tutorial. Congratulations. Yeah. And with that, this court is adjourned. Uh, it turns out that Frank saw it was a common burglar. He posed as a newspaper salesman to check and see when people were out of the house. That day, oh, when Larry went to her apartment, the victim wasn't home. After he left, Mr. Sawit let himself in to do his dirty work. While he was searching her place, the victim returned. Oh, flustered, Mr. Sawit grabbed at the nearest blunt object he could find and bashed her over the f***ing head. August 3rd, 2.30... 2.32 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 2. Whew, still can't believe we won. I'm turning this over a bit, because I'm... was... What are you doing? Right, good job in there. What are you doing? <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks, Chief. I owe it all to you. Not at all, not at all. You fought your own battles in there. It's been a while since I've seen a trial and on such a satisfying note. I drew a heart on you. Where? On my like, your neck. <laughs> no, I didn't. Never seen the chief looking this happy. She's this glad. I imagine how Larry must feel. Oh my god. <laughs> my life is over. Why is he still... Why is he still upset? Don't worry about me. I'll be dead and gone soon. Good. Wait. No. I mean bad, bad, bad. Larry, you're innocent. The case is closed. But... But my Cindy Wendy... Oh, mm, God. I don't like this guy. <sighs> Larry, she was a... Ugh, never mind. Alright, congratulations, Harry. Harry. Yes, you. I can practically see the headlines now. Harry Butts Innocent. Hey. Oh, God. I won't forget this ever. Let's celebrate. Dinner, movie, my treat. Oh, no, I couldn't. Hey, I was the one who got you off the hook. Oh, hey. Here, take this. It's a pr Did he take... <laughs> they only get more stupid from here. It's evidence, you fucking idiot. It's There's blood on that still. I mean, to be fair, cops in real life do raid uh, the drug room and take drug evidence for themselves. Very true. Mm -hmm. Actually, I made this clock for her. I made one for her and one for me. Really? You made this? Well, thank you. I'll keep it as a memento. Yo, Nick. Can you believe it? I was so into that chick. And and she was just playing me for a fool. I think you were actually a fucking fool. She broke up with you. Don't that make you want to just cry? Larry. Are you so sure? Excuse me? No. <laughs> I think she thought quite a lot of you, in her own way. Nah, you don't gotta sympathize with me, Skay. Oh, I'm not just sympathizing, really. Isn't that right, right? Don't you have something to show your friend? Something that proves how she felt about him? Ooh. What? Here's your- here's the autopsy <laughs> report. Here's um, your dead ex-girlfriend. Yeah, try the statue. I don't know if that's it. Okay, well, you doubted me the last time and I was right. Take that. Check this out, Larry. Proof positive you weren't just some chump to- Oh. I told you. Huh? What about that clock? This is the clock you made for her, Larry. She took it with her when she traveled. Whatever. She probably just needed a clock, that's all. You think so? It's a pretty heavy clock to take traveling. Well, make of it what you will. Hey, Nick. I'm glad I asked you to be my lawyer. Even though you had no prior experience. And, uh, you almost kind of sent me to jail. This is Kangaroo Court. This is Kangaroo Court! <laughs> <laughs> uh, really, I am. Thanks. Hope that made him feel a little bit better. Um, I think we should save it here. This seems like a good, good spot to save, right? Yeah. Yeah? Uh, ow. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, yes, we're gonna save it here.
And, uh, yeah, that was, um... What'd you think? A lot of words. A lot of reading. Um, so, yeah. You like my notes? Um, yeah. You know what my favorite note is? My favorite note is... Larry's Boner. See you guys. Peace. I am yelling at you. Well, reckon you can suck my d yelling. Can you take a break? Yelling. Can you take a break? I'm yelling at you. Can you take a break? Yelling. Can I get my d sucked? Can you hear me? Yelling. Can I get my d sucked? Yelling. Yelling. Are you ready to suck now? Have you got it all out? You know something? You will, but you want me to.